In modern society, the term mental diet is misrepresented as a need to replace or flip positive thoughts constantly. Most people live in the fearful belief that it takes too much effort to force the mind to think in a certain way. A massive pushback for most people is that many believe mental diets take too much of their time away, and some will get discouraged from even trying. Therefore, in this video, I'm going to explain how to reprogram your mind for success using the techniques described by Neville Goddard. Following on the teachings of Neville Goddard in his book, Feeling is the secret. The best and easiest way to approach mental diet is to simply be effortless. Don't give away too much of your energy battling the thoughts you receive. The more you fight them or try to ignore them, the stronger they become. You can choose which thoughts you want to accept and which ones you do not. For me, up to this point, monk mode and use of clean mental diet keeps me feeling blissful and ecstatic. My urges for junk food, PMO, and other habits has subsided. You are now probably asking yourself, what is mental diet? Mental diet isn't a technique that one does from time to time. It is the ultimate key to mastering reality. Mental diet is a skill one develops through time. Unfortunately, in modern society, this term is an uncharted territory for most. But the most beautiful simplicity behind mental diet is redirecting your mind to cultivate positive state of attraction, even when you are on autopilot, or in other words, when your subconscious governs your reality. You will also become more aware of contents you entertain your mind with. Mental diets are based on mind stories you tell yourself and play in your head. The thoughts you think to yourself and how you imagine yourself are the affirmations that will shape you into who you imagine to be. With the power of thoughts and imagination, you will create a fertile ground for your manifestations. As I said before, and it is always important to mention this, we are the creators of our reality. Our thoughts become our words. Our words become our doings. Our doings define our reality. We are constantly manifesting. Even when we sleep, our subconscious mind works. It is as natural and easy as breathing. It just happens automatically. That's why it is important to input our subconscious mind with only positive thoughts and affirmations. Are you familiar with the law of assumption and the law of attraction? If so, then you have realized you hold the power to manifest reality consciously. The law of attraction is very simple. What you tell yourself internally will reflect on your external material world. You create and attract everything around you. Mental diets play a key role as they are the fertile soil in your subconscious mind which dictates what your reality will look like. What you reap is what you sow. It is only natural to feel desires and urges from time to time, but without strong concept of self-worth and discipline of mental diet through monk mode, you might fall weak to lust and deplete yourself of your semen energy. If you keep doing this, nothing you ever do will ever make any impact or make you powerful, because your power keeps being thrown away. Take my advice and stop depleting yourself of your creative energy. Imagine the benefits of sexual transmutation on monk mode after 90 days with the help of mental diet. Imagine how much your life will change. Your reality can always be changed and adjusted. If you created something that you regret or don't desire, remember that you have the power to reverse this. Here is tip how. Realize where you are starting from. Don't jump straight into an extreme self-concept many do and think saying, I hate myself. Instead, tell yourself until you convince yourself, I am a god. Take small steps each day to raise your self-concept. These affirmations will reprogram your subconscious mind if you do them daily, especially in front of a mirror. For example, repeating these affirmations will change your subconscious mind. I am a decent and worthy person. I choose to forgive myself. I choose to heal myself. I am getting better. I love and appreciate myself more by each passing day. I am worthy. I deserve greater things in life. I am powerful. Remember, you are God's creation, and therefore you hold divine in yourself. 
Do not suppress your emotions. No matter what they are like, find a way to let them out and express yourself. It is not healthy to keep negative feelings bottled up. We all carry feelings of shame and guilt. During meditation, you can let go of these feelings of shame and guilt as they are emotions that cause negative blockages in the body, preventing the energy from flowing freely. Be aware of yourself and what you do throughout the day. Be still and mindful of yourself and don't get lost or distracted in any train of thought or situation. Create a habit of asking yourself how you feel and observe the thoughts you receive. The choice which thoughts you receive is all yours. Did you know you can decide how you want to feel the next day before you fall asleep? We can decide how we want to feel in advance. If you go to bed tonight, and if it is a true wish of your heart to wake up feeling joyful the next day, then you can use the law to your advantage. The law of attraction is universal and the universe always works to give you what you want. Be careful what you think, for that is what you attract. Every night, before you fall asleep, tell yourself good thoughts. Imagine yourself in your desired scenario and feel what happens with all your five senses. This is how you play a game of life. Never fall asleep feeling angry at yourself as you will wake up feeling that way. Work on yourself and give yourself self-love in everything you do. A good example is eating well, dressing well, exercising, reading, or meditating. Recreation is what makes us feel happy and good. With a mental diet and monk mode, you will reclaim your power and put yourself back on the throne. I found out that listening to some subliminal videos will stop intrusive thoughts. Talking to yourself in the mirror for 20 minutes to half an hour about how you feel and your desires will do wonders for your spiritual well-being. The euphoria technique is a universal technique that has an incredible effect in affecting all areas of your life. This technique should be done preferably right before you fall asleep. In order to get into the sleepy state, repeat to yourself in a slow and meditative manner, I am sleepy. Or by counting down from 20 to 1 going slower and slower each time. Once you reach such a stage, your subconscious mind becomes open. Now is the best time to dream about what your desires are and what you want. This way your subconscious mind will recognize what you want and manifest it into reality. Repeat this process every night. Think about your desires and wishes until there are none left. Clear out your mind of all the luggage you carry. Add feelings to your imaginations. Feeling is the secret. In order to achieve your desires, you have to feel as if you already have them. Eventually, you will become better at it. You will regain faith in yourself and your capabilities. Every morning you wake up will be fresh and full of vigor. This will bring you into a state of utter satisfaction where you no longer desire anything and you are literally in a state of constant bliss and ecstasy. In fact, your life will change so much. You will become happy and you won't be able to think negative thoughts. Of course, this is a process that takes time, which requires effort and discipline. But with all being said, don't you think it is worth it? And so, this video slowly comes to an end. I wanted to share these several tips with you on how to use the law of attraction to reprogram your mind for success. Let me know what you think about law of attraction in the comments below. If you like this content, please hit that subscribe button and like this video. Thanks and see you again soon.